We're gonna check out this down tube folding bike I put together for a friend. This has got a BBS HD 1000 watt motor with a 52 volt uh, 20 amp hour battery he picked up from I think Green Power. All those kind of links will be down in the description. The motor came from California e-bike. Did a couple things differently than I would do on other conversions with the with this folding bike here. Um, and I also used one of these bottom bracket supporting mounts underneath the battery. Um, so it's basically an aluminum mount. This is one from Grin Technologies. This was another one I bought off of Amazon. It allows you to use some batten clamps to also support that bracket. And then your, ba your battery bracket mounts to this bracket. So it, it really strengthens it up and it makes this really top heavy battery not feel nearly as top heavy. There's a look at that bracket that's mounted under there. This one, there were a couple nuts that basically were put in there as a spacer to give it a little more room. All right, so here we're looking at this. Guy, I uh, got the HD and it fit in. I didn't have to modify anything. It just fit, fit in here really well. Um, you can. This is a 46 tooth chain ring. This one might actually need to be one where you go up to a larger chain ring because it uh, depends on what speed you're wanting to pedal at. If you're cool being throttle only, these motors will happily spin. So you can you can really go almost as fast as you want. Um, for me, the 52 tooth chain ring seems like it brings down the range for me quite a bit. So I, I don't always run with that. You can see that big old shark style battery taking up a lot of that space, but still being a folding bike, it's still really easy to stand over. I like to place some wire management wrapping around the, you know, some of those connections coming up there just because I think it cleans up the look a little bit. And with this particular bike, I use the underside of the bike where that has a little support bracket for when it's folded to basically be where I bundled and protected all the wires. So it was able to clean up the look of the rest of the bike by you know, following a cable all the way down, not putting any pressure on it to affect shifting or in this case braking, and then running it back there. Um, the other thing I had to do on this one is I had to mount the speed sensor on the seat stay versus the chain stay up there. There wasn't enough clearance to the magnet, even with the sensor pushed in all the way to clear um, down on the chain stay. So this is, like I said, this is a totally fun little bike. I'm gonna zip around, show you some speed overlay. It's really fast. It gets up to speed quite quickly. The GPS really won't even be able to keep up. I'm just gonna show you the, the pulling force on this motor is just pretty wild. Here's the throttle only. This this uh, heavy duty throttle does have a really nice feel, and but you get a progressive increase of speed, you know. And we're just cruising along here. Let's see what the GPS settles at. But I'm not. I still have more to go if I wanted it. So and and I got two more gears. So I tend to use the brake cutoffs is uh, instead of a gear shift indicator or a pedal backwards, one of the two to manage your little, so you're not shifting why it's under power. But now we, I just went into the, the highest gear with that 46 tooth in the front. And I'm just gonna give it, give it some throttle here, just gentle and you'll just see, and the, the pull is just wild. And with the mid drives, the engage and disengage of the of the pedal assist is is really great. I just got my settings a little off, so it's coming in with a whole lot of force the whole time. Yeah, it's it's not cutting off like it's every every assist level is like number nine. So that's I gotta I gotta make that a little bit of adjustment. That's one of the great things about this. I took the factory settings, I tweaked them a little bit, mostly because I wanted the throttle to not be tied to the assist level. Um, I like it to be independent so I can, it gives me a chance to speed up when I need to speed up for safety reasons. Uh, but I made a little error on my pedal assist settings. What, what do you think? Totally wild. I have no idea how fast this thing actually goes. It's actually kind of hard to ride because it's that fast. But it's smooth. Oh yeah, it's smooth, it's quick. It. But, it, but there's uh, so much pull, it keeps so pulling. So much force, so yeah. much force. Yeah. The, um, 
smaller wheels are really pretty playful. Right. Um, real, real nimble handling. Yeah, yeah. But you, you, I could see how if you rode this for a, a super long distance, you would a lot of that would be transmitted to your body. Mm -hmm. They do make a full suspension version of this bike. This is, well, sure. But the twenty-inch wheels is like your torque. The torque you get to the ground is cr fast. Yeah. It's so fast. I'll get you taken off. This is a super fun little bike. You know, pretty much overpowered with a thousand watt motor on this small of a bike. I'd probably go with the 750. But you know, it's, they have a little better cooling. Um, so if you're really going to ride this thing and push the speed. Sometimes the BBSHD will hold up a little better over time. Uh, but this is a really fun little setup. And, you know, always a little idiosyncrasies with the install, but this one was pretty dang easy and I had a lot of fun doing it. So thanks.